my name is Jillian, and I'm playing the role of the girl who does not want to lose her virginity. I'm going to be playing the role of a teenager who's pressuring her friend to have sex with her boyfriend. We start off with Jillian under heavy pressure from Brittany. Once you get your first time over with, it's much easier the second time around. And if I'm not comfortable, then I'm not comfortable. All of the girls at school are talking about you. Right away, Jessica DeSanto cannot believe what she's hearing. Listen, all guys want to have sex. She's so uncomfortable, she starts to laugh. Okay, well, you're going to be the biggest loser of our group. Popularity should not be based on if you lost your virginity or not. Brittany keeps it up, pressuring, insulting. But from this couple, nothing but laughter. Time to find out why. I'm John Quinones with ABC. <laughs> Why not uh, give her some advice? That's, that's personal. I wasn't. I don't want to get involved. They look young, so I don't want to say anything wrong and then have it come back to me. <laughs> Can I start that again? Let's start that again. Scene number two, and once again, the conversation quickly turns to sex. You know that if you don't do it, he's probably going to break up with you. Just have sex with him and get it over with. At a nearby table, Rosemary Johnson is listening. Yeah, I should wait till marriage because your virginity is a big deal. You're not supposed to just throw that around. You're going to be such a loser at school. The only reason why you still have friends there is because of your boyfriend. She keeps a watchful eye but says nothing. I know I'm not ready. I'm definitely not ready. We begin to wonder if the talk of sex is just too personal for anyone to get involved in. But then, finally... A breaking point. Are you serious? You're crying now? Seriously, you're such a wimp. You're 14. You should be having sex. Rosemary has heard enough. Okay. Denise O'Day is a therapist, but it's her maternal instinct that quickly kicks in. You don't do it till you're ready. You, you can't be exactly. If you want to, your choice, but you have to want it. I really honestly emotionally think 14 is too young. Adolescent guys is too They really are the dumb. Don't make a mistake because you'll regret it. It's heartwarming and time to introduce ourselves. This is part of what would you do? Oh, yes, I've watched it. <laughs> And you went over and comforted her. You know what? I've been there, done that, and I say I want to empower women. I have a lot of talking ahead of me. I have a 10-year-old daughter. What do you want your 10-year-old daughter to know about sex? Self-worth, self-esteem is more important than anything. And that I will teach her everything about sex. And that we go on from there, hand in hand. <laughs> Thank you so much. We roll again, but now we decide to change things up. What if the pressure on young Jillian is not coming from her good friend, but from her boyfriend? He's smooth. So, you know, my parents are going away this weekend, right? He's charming. I really love you. And he's got only one thing on his mind. I love you, and sex is going to bring us so much closer. I promise I'll make your first time, like, really, really romantic. Don't you think you'll wait if you love me? Baby. I love you so much. Don't you want to give this to me? And it doesn't take long for these men to take the bait. No. Sex will bring us closer together. I don't think so, and I don't feel comfortable. I'm really kind of tired of waiting. You're forcing me to do something right now that I really don't want to. I'm not forcing you to do anything. It's been two months. Two months? I'm a freshman. Do you know how many girls want to have sex with me right now? Whatever. I'm going to the bathroom. While Jillian has a moment alone, John looks for a little backup. And to our surprise... Do you guys know what I'm talking about with this? She won't have sex with me. We've been dating for two months now. He seems to find it. Do you guys have any tips? Yeah, I'm getting married. I've had sex at home. Yeah? Is he a police officer? No. Does he have a gun? Turns out it's just bravado. These men have some good advice. So should I dump her then? No, I'm not saying that. Just hang in there if you like. Well, do you like her? Yeah, I love her. Oh, then just hang in there. How long do you think I should wait then? You know, five, six years, yeah. Five, six years? Are you kidding me right now? Good, good, good. All right. Time to meet these guys. 
This is part of what would you do? You yes. spoil it now. <laughs> you thought we were doing something good. You asked him, uh, does her father have a gun? <laughs> no, I was joking. I was joking. <laughs> we'll get us in trouble. <laughs> no, no, we won't. <laughs> we send in our couple one last time. Okay, but we've only been going out for two months. And I just feel like... Two months you is a long out. time, Jill. I don't feel comfortable, and you should respect that. Ken Borowski immediately notices what's going on, but not her friends. So she starts texting them. The whole school knows about this. Okay, well, that doesn't make a it difference. It just looks bad. I just don't understand why you don't want to have sex. John pretends he just can't take it any longer. You're not going to put out, then we're done, all right? It's not worth it. It's the end he was just yelling at me the entire time. I'm 14 years old, you don't need to do no, anything you don't want to do. Like, you're going to break up with me because of that? That is not worth it. It's not worth it. Don't let them pressure you because you're going to regret it. No. Your whole life. I'm going to wait until you're ready. You don't need to jump into bed with him. He needs to get laid. He's supposed to be I personally did it at 18 and was, I regret it to this day. I wasn't ready. 14? <laughs> well, honey, there were so many nice things. But just when everyone thinks they're in the clear, guess who's back? If you love me, you'll come with me. Come. Yes or no? I just want to go home. Let's go home. Let's go. Come on, let's go. What happened? <laughs> he wanted her to put out and she didn't want to do it. <laughs> it will be my daughter. I'm going to put this down. Time to break this scene. <laughs> <laughs> I'm John Quinones. How are you? I'm Eddie. Oh my God, that's so bad. <laughs> that was good. I wanted to get up and kill him. What did you think? She's young, so sometimes when they're young, they think that to keep the guy, that that's what they have to do. What was your message to her? You have something very special. You do not give it away that easy. 